complex ailments. Leading health expert Dr. Decker Weiss is here now to explain. This can benefit all of us. So excited Absolutely. for you to be here because I'm always interested in alternative medicine yeah. rather than modern medicine. So let's talk about this event that you're going to be hosting really quickly. It's an event I'll be hosting. Um, I'm not super oh, okay. aware about well, the event I'm hosting. Um, <laughs> okay, so you're not hosting an event, but you are here by my side right now. We're going to talk am. about some of the alternatives. In a doctor's office, it's always an event. It, so, it is know. always an event, <laughs> yes. So let's talk about ancient medicine sure. versus modern medicine that most of us get treated with today. Yeah, so when you when you look back at time, like things like silver mm -hmm. in Hippocrates era was known that it had health benefits. Mm -hmm. They couldn't really figure out the science of things. And then the Romans, you know, if you drank out of a silver cup you had good health well they didn't know that the silver was killing the bacteria and the fungus and viruses that were in it so the soldiers were healthier and then onto the Middle Ages where a silver spoon. Mm -hmm. If you stirred your food with silver spoon, then for some reason the babies were healthier. Well, it was the same thing. It was killing the bacteria and viruses and fungus in there. And then, you know, modern technology had to step in and go, well, well how do we take it from coins and cups and spoons mm -hmm. to something you can spray in your ear? And, and is it really safe? Mm -hmm. And so uh, this company, Sovereign Silver, they created what they call a bioactive silver hydrosol. And they took the little particles of it. Mm -hmm. They were able to put it in sprays and things like that and not only show those same benefits but make sure it was safe for you as well uh, I work in parts of the world where antibiotics don't work anymore so um, it, it, any microbial starting to happen here too oh no it, it's all over the place mm -hmm. now hospitals with what we call MRSA and and all the these resistant bug. infections you got it mm -hmm. and you know you see those cleaner commercials when they wipe the counter you know they spray it and they wipe well not all those critters are dead there's Don't a you few have to left keep over it on the surface for a while too some of them will always make it okay. through but silver kills it all. You know, that, that countertop would be zero. And, and when I started to use this in places like, you know, uh, Senegal and, and, and in the Middle East where refugees have plenty of access to antibiotics, mm -hmm. they just don't work anymore. I'm watching babies die. I'm watching this. So I wanted to look at silver. I gave these guys a call up. They donated. How much do you need? We're going to ship it anywhere in the world you want it. They were unbelievable. And so I started spraying it in ears and strep throat mm -hmm. um, for dysenteries, which really in those areas take their lives. Uh, dysenteries, you can drink it, cuts and scrapes. And then I also found the special forces guys. You know, they go, oh, you have the silver? They showed me their private little packs. Mm -hmm. In all the armies, the armies that are shooting each other, they both have silver in their packs. And you're seeing it being used ubiquitously. And they're like, yeah, whenever I have a cut or a scrape or I get a bug, I take that stuff. It always works. So it's pretty quick. It is quick, it is mm -hmm. effective, but the challenge is as doctors, we're not stopping our bad habits. We keep prescribing antibiotics, and then the CDC and NIH say, don't prescribe antibiotics. But somebody comes into the office, and what are we taught? Do something. If you right. don't do something, they're going to go to another we doctor who's going to prescribe it. Right, they're mm -hmm. going to go to a doc in a box or whatever. So as a population, we're going to have to shift the way we think, and first-line therapies, walk into a Sprouts. Walk into your local health food spore, store, get a silver, mm -hmm. start spraying it in your throat, start putting in your ears. This stuff has just worked so fantastic for me. So how many ailments can we solve with something like this? Well, this is the beauty of it, the flexibility. So when you look, there's a gel kind of for scrapes and things. I'm not mm -hmm. supposed to knock over the box, <laughs> right? And then, like a spray, this is the kind of thing you would put in a throat, okay. or you could spray it on, and as mm -hmm. you see, you would never do that with a regular antibiotic, right? right? You would just you wouldn't even be, flush it down the toilet right. because of all the dangers. Now we can't say this goes in sinuses and things mm -hmm. like that because the FDA has rules and things. So this is an upward sprayer. There's all sorts of terms, but I think you can kind of see where it fits right. and where it goes, <laughs> um, as well as drinking it and doing teaspoon two, three times a day when it is a flu bug, when you have the aches and pains, when you have dysenteries and all that. That's the really neat thing about silver, especially in the work I do, is its flexibility. Mm -hmm. you can use it in all of these different ways and that's really really important so if you even have like that bottle at the end at home mm -hmm. just sitting around well you can dab it in your ear and you can spray it in your nose and you can do that and then we get that first line therapy so you don't have to go to the doctor's office take your time off uh, time away from work get an antibiotic hope it works hope right. it doesn't create something worse mm -hmm. uh, you know other hope infections your kids finish it. hope your kids finish it the right then you got to add mm -hmm. sugar to it to make it taste good right. and do all that kind of stuff and, and when we do that we're going to get away from that antibiotic resistance look 10 million people a year in 2050 are expected to die from antimicrobial resistance worldwide that's here that's UK that's mm -hmm. all over the place the scary part one-third of the current surgeries that we do you know simple appendectomy or even dental surgery we won't be able to do anymore that's in 10 years
So we have to change our habits. And Americans answer. We walk into our stores and we say, get us something different. Right. If mm -hmm. our doctors aren't going to answer the call, we'll do it. So be open to alternatives and educate yourself. That's right. Thank you so much, doctor, for being here with us today. To learn more about Dr. Weiss and for more medical answers, just log on to peacepossible.com. Well, from the best foods to fuel your immune system to anti-aging miracle creams, here are even more tips to help you feel your best this year.